you for joining us for the news at 530. I'm Madeline Hunt. Governor Kemp has signed Addie's law. It aims to improve school bus safety. The law calls on school systems to evaluate their bus stop locations and increase fines for drivers who drive around stop buses. Our Anna Stansfield spoke with a state representative along with Savannah Chatham County school officials about this new bill. She tells us what changes could be coming to our area. Addie's Law is named after Adeline Pierce, an eight year old who was killed after being hit by a vehicle while trying to get on her school bus. That's something state representatives say no parent or child should have to worry about, which is why they say this bill is so important. Public safety job one for government. State Representative Jesse Petrie voted in favor of House Bill 409, saying it could help save lives. There have been some really uh, horrible examples like the young lady this bill is named after where individuals have sped past stop school buses and children have died. Under this law, drivers convicted of passing a stop school bus could face a $1,000 fine or more than 12 months in prison. The law also calls on school systems to look at their bus routes and consider getting rid of any stops where a child has to cross streets with a speed limit higher than 40 miles per hour. Something officials at the Savannah Chatham County Public School System say they have already started doing. We have already generated a report which gives us the number of stops that are are in locations that are 40 miles per hour or higher. Annette Lang works in the school system's transportation department. She says once they get numbers back from that report, they'll take a look at each stop. Going out and physically looking at the stops to actually see how the drivers are loading and unloading the students. While Audi's law was sparked after an incident in Henry County, Savannah Chatham's executive director of transportation says violations happen in our area too. I've seen so many videos of near misses students that come so close to being hit. Which is why she says the school system fully supports this bill and is willing to do whatever is needed. The less students you have crossing the street, when you do have a violation, then less potential for a student to be injured or killed. Regardless of this new law, school officials say making sure each and every bus stop is as safe as possible is a number one priority. If you feel like your child's bus stop is dangerous, there is a form that you can submit to the school system. We'll have a link for you on our website. Just look for this story on WTOC.com. Reporting in Savannah, Anna Stansfield, WTOC News.